And I hate daylight savings time. Or is it standard time we're on now? Hell, I can't remember. I just want my hour of sleep back, you know? Kings one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, by the way, it just occurred to me, like, uh, within the last week, that it's been about three months since the last chapter in my Hold On CD collection. I am not abandoning that series. Just to let you know, uh, it's just been on hiatus. Uh, I, I want to be very careful not to uh, uh, fudge the uh, my doctor's orders to not lift more than 20 pounds. I mean, I've I've kind of fudged it a little bit. If if I'm lifting something with one hand and I'm lifting it with my left side, my surgery was on my right side, then you know I that's been fine. And uh, if it's if I'm just carrying something like a bag and I'm not actually lifting uh, with my arms, I figure that's okay. And I've kind of fudged that line. But you know when I put get that big CD rack full of 90 CDs, I have to carry it with both hands and lifting and stuff. So that's definitely off limits until. Uh, by the end of this month, I will have resumed my Hold On CD collection. Uh, yes, for those of you who have been uh, eagerly awaiting the next chapter, it is still coming. I have not uh, ditched the series. I intend to carry that series through to its bitter end. Bittersweet end. No, just sweet. It's a sweet end, seriously. Anyway, uh, so yes, that's the, what, what the deal is with that. So don't worry, uh, chapter 15 is coming before the end of March, so don't worry. Uh, but yes, today is Bargain Bag, and yes, I know the very last video I uploaded was a Bargain Bag video, but, well, that's the way it is. Uh, yes, the last month was uh, February. I got it right in at the very end of February, right under the wire, and I have been trying, uh, mostly failing, but sometimes succeeding, in getting my Bargain Bag videos out to you during the first half of their months. Uh, so yes, it, it's it's been... It feels like I've been failing more often than succeeding at that, but uh, here I am trying to uh, get it to you in a more timely basis. So anyway, Bargain Bag is, as you know, my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of a mystery CD grab bag assembled from the bargain section at Epic Seconds, a store in downtown Eugene. Uh, yes, it's normally $1 CDs, but uh, when I... Uh, they had the whole bunch on sale, four for a dollar, so I was able to... I just grabbed a whole bunch, stuffed them into bags, and so I barely remember what I'm uh, what I'm digging out of these bags. But anyway, before I open the new bag uh, on camera right here in front of you guys, I will break down what was in last month's bargain bag in rough order from Castoffs to Keepers. What did we have in here? So let's go ahead and check things out. Uh, first of all, John Anderson, Country. And there's just not really much to say about it. Uh, you know, nothing really um, uh, unique about it. Uh, good artist, good voice, good songs. Just, you know. Uh, at some point, when you've heard one country artist, you've heard them all. There are exceptions to that, but, you know. He's one of those, you've heard them one, you've heard them all. That sort of things. Anyway. Uh, the next one. Excuse me. Uh, Linda Eder, I guess is how you pronounce it, or it may be Linda Eder, I don't know. Uh, but she's a, a very nice voice on her. Um, great songs. She's kind of a, a jazz, uh, jazz, great American songbook, uh, maybe a little bit of blues, rhythm and blues. Uh, I just didn't find a whole lot unique about her. There, there are other artists that I enjoy a lot more uh, in the same genre, so she didn't really stand out to me. She might to you. Give her a try. I would recommend if you like... Um, the female song songstresses, chanteuses who do the uh, Great American Songbook and jazz stuff like uh, Diana Krall, that kind of thing. Check her out. Uh, next one here is, uh, this is an interesting one, uh, Ethel Smith, organ extravaganza. I guess she was a very popular organist back in the, she started in the 30s or 40s. I looked her up on Wikipedia the other day as I was listening to this. So uh, yeah, she was kind of a I guess kind of a trailblazer because there probably weren't a lot of female uh, recording artists back in the day uh, who who were not uh, singers. So yeah, just uh, I've got a few uh, kind of like the same thing with Linda Eder. I've got a few organ uh, compilations. No or well, no, I do have an organ uh, an album by an uh, organ artist. Uh, but uh, yeah, just there was nothing unique about this that really made me want to keep it. So. Yeah. Not bad, though. And this one I would have kept. It is a compilation 
called Drop in Science, uh, Blue Note, uh, the songs that uh, on the Blue Note label that a lot of uh, hip hop and rock artists have sampled over the years. Uh, so yes, the song that I like mo most on this one, uh, Dave, uh, The Edge by David McCallum, uh, I would have kept a CD for that, except it is on the Baby Driver soundtrack, the two-CD version of the Baby Driver soundtrack. And there was only one other song that really kind of jumped out at me, so I decided, eh, I won't keep this. Uh, the opening track, uh, It's Your Thing by Lou Donaldson, is an instrumental version of the uh, Isley Brothers song, Do, uh, It's Your Thing. Uh, I might have the original artist all wrong, forgive me if I do. Uh, just working off the top of my head, which is not as sharp as it used to be. Anyway, uh, decent compilation, and I think it was actually in my sister's, uh, not this exact one, but uh, the, the title was in my sister's CDs, and I guess uh, yeah, there was a reason why I, uh, or, or the, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I, I've just, I decided not to keep it for a second time, so I guess probably for the same reasons. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Okay, stop the rambling. Uh, the Statlers, uh, and I don't know if this is a group that's made up of the same members as the Statler Brothers, or if they are kind of a new indication, uh, um, kind of like the Jackson 5 versus the Jacksons. I think there was a slight difference in members, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, decent stuff. I love the vocal harmonies from these guys, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, they start, <clears throat> excuse me, they start out with a cover of the Rick Nelson song, Hello Mary Lou, very good one, and they end with uh, Amazing, <coughs> excuse me, Amazing Grace, the uh, the hymn. Gotta, gotta take it a drink of water, sorry about that. And uh, so yeah, and a lot of great songs in between. So uh, the, the this copy of this one is rather scratched up, so I'm going to keep an, a lookout for a better condition copy, but uh, Partners in Rhyme is the name of the of the CD, but yeah, the Statlers, uh, pretty good. And I'm going to have to look up, I, I neglected to look up online if the Statlers are the exact same group as the Statler Brothers or not. Uh, but now we're getting into the three definite keepers on my list, or in this month's bag. Superhero. <laughs> you gotta love the name of the group, right? And this is, um, some, of these, uh, some of the songs in here have a bit of a uh, pop punk edge to them. Some of them are more alternative rock, and some of them are kind of power pop. So they're, you know, they're pretty pretty much pop with, uh, you know, kind of wavering, uh, you know, weaving between punk and uh, alt rock, but staying kind of firmly in the in the pop lane. Good stuff. Lots of good, uh, uh, clever lyrics in here. And the whole CD is like uh, 33 minutes or something. And the songs are really short. Some of the songs are like a minute and a half long. So yeah, easy to to digest, uh, which, you know, the shorter songs kind of uh, um, is a thing that was common with a lot of punk uh, artists, at least back in the day. So, uh, but yeah, this is, um, this was made in Seattle, so it's kind of a, a regional Northwest band that's an independent label. But uh, yeah, if you ever find these guys, uh, and Last Star Shining is the name of the album uh, by the group called Superhero. So uh, I would I recommend checking it out if you like pop and pop punk. Good stuff. And then the next one we have, the uh, runner-up to uh, this week's win or this month's winner, uh, Aaron Neville with his album Warm Your Heart. And this one has his hit single Everybody Plays the Fool, and which is an excellent song. And there are lots of great songs on here. I, I have a greatest hits compilation of Aaron Neville, and Everybody Plays the Fool is one of the two or three songs that I got that compilation for the most, you know, the songs of his that I like the most. So I'm thinking of ditching that one and just keeping this one and getting the other album that's got, I can't remember what the uh, other song is of his that I really enjoy on it. So, uh, but yeah, um, I'm trying to, f uh, oh, Angola Sound is another really good one. As, as it kind of suggests, as the title suggests, it's got a bit of an African-esque sound to it. So that one's really good. Uh, I Bid You Good Night, I think, is the one that has a really good kind of a barbershop quartet harmony to it. That's really good. Uh, so, yeah. I would recommend checking out uh, Warm Your Heart by Aaron Neville. Fantastic soul and R&B vocalist. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have any of his stuff until I picked up his greatest hits. It's only been about a couple of years ago. Uh, but the winner, winner chicken dinner on uh, this month's bargain bag is one that I did not expect. Uh, it is 
Johnny Clegg and Savuka with the album Cruel, Crazy, Beautiful World. And the title track is one of the big standouts for me. And um, One Human, One Vote is another great one. This, I guess, was their most successful album. <coughs> Excuse me. And yes, um, very. Uh, it's got a very much of a world music sound to it, uh, mostly African influences on here. Few beautiful stuff. I mean, just beautiful harmonies and melodies and stuff. Kind of like uh, the cover image kind of gives a good uh, idea of the, what the album sounds like. It's just bright and uh, beautiful, and I, I, it's hard to put into words what a great album this is. This is just fantastic. Uh, what can I say? Uh, De La is one of the, another one of the really good songs. Uh, Bombs Away is pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I can't remember which... Oh, Vezan Lebe, I think is how you pronounce the very last song. That one is really, really good, too. That was a great closing track. So, but yeah, uh, and I was trying to remember, I think I mentioned this in my last uh, Bargain Bag video, was uh, Johnny Clegg was on an album that I had gotten recently, and I couldn't remember which one. It was the most recent album by Walk the Moon. Uh, Johnny Clegg and I, and maybe Savuka also, featured on one or two tracks, and they were some of the last recordings that Johnny Clegg made before he passed away. So, uh, yes, that was the... <coughs> Excuse me, the connection. Dry throat today, I don't know why. Let me get another drink here. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm, there we go. Pretty darn good selection of bargain bag CDs from last month, even though I'm keeping less than half of them. Yeah. For the price, as I've mentioned before, for the price that I paid for those CDs, even if you just even if I just had one keeper in the month, it was worth it. So anyway, now I'm going to try to determine, yes, I think this is the right side to cut to actually be able to open the bag. Uh, I think two months in a row I've failed at that and cut the wrong end of it and looked like a, looked like a doofus. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut the bag here and unroll it. Yay, I got the right side this time. Lop the old top off of here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Landed right in front of the uh, little lens, whatchamacallit. So, okay, let's take a look and see what's in today's... <coughs> Excuse me. Today's bag. This month's bag, I should say. Here we have... Oh, Music Without Frontiers. A Venture Sampler. I'm assuming this is a world music compilation, I, I would imagine. Music Without Frontiers, Music Without Borders would kind of uh, evoke the idea. <coughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, the two CDs that I know are in the bags, the remaining bags somewhere, are uh, Play by Moby and the soundtrack from Schindler's List. So let's see if either of those two are in here. I meant I was going to mention that before I opened the bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, Jesse Cook. Now, Jesse Cook is actually a... Uh, he's a guitarist who's on the Narada label. You see that uh, down toward the bottom, bottom Narada Equinox. Narada had three sub-labels back in their uh, early days. And so, yeah, Narada was a New Age label that I was really into back uh, when I first started exploring music a lot. But I don't think I've ever had any Jesse Cook albums. He, he came along uh, just as I was kind of outgrowing the uh, Narada and my New Age uh my new age phase and going into going into real music. <laughs> real music. No, oh, this is real music. Life's too short to be a music snob, remember. So uh, yeah, it looked interesting, so I thought I would check it out. I'm always up for some instrumental guitar. And then what do we have here? We have, oh, Billboard. <laughs> Billboard's greatest R&B Christmas hits. So this will be another holiday CD. I've already got one, I believe, uh, bargain bag holiday CD for this month, for this year. So, yeah. Uh, the Orioles, Mabel Scott, Amos Milburn. I haven't heard of hardly any of these guys. This will be fun, then, to listen to. Because, you know, well, it's got uh, Run, Rudolph, Run by Chuck Berry and The Santa Claus is Coming to Town by the Jackson 5. So a few uh, well-known artists, but uh, several of them that I don't think I've ever heard of before. So that will be a very interesting... It's going to wait until 
December, because I don't like to start listening to holiday music until after Thanksgiving, so you'll have to wait for that one. But it'll be it'll be worth the wait, I think. And then the next one here is... Oh, oh, Vince Gill. I Never Knew Lonely. So yes, I had another Vince Gill album that uh, was pretty good. I didn't end up keeping it. But uh, we'll see if this one um, strikes me as uh, any better than that one. Not that he's a bad artist, just, you know... Oh, huh. Danny Barnes, Dirt on the Angel. This will be an interesting uh, one to listen to. Yeah, I have no idea who he is. Uh, I'm going to guess he's probably either country or alt country, possibly Americana. So, not much to say about that one because I don't know who he is. Then we have. Oh, Asleep at the Wheel. This is a country artist, possibly an Americana band. Uh, it's a tribute to Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys. I have a Best of Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys CD, so this will be inter interesting to listen to. So, yeah. And the next to last one in this bargain bag is... Stuck to the one underneath it. Hang on. There we go. What do we have here? Oh, it was stuck because it's got that thing. Oh, Andrea Bocelli. Uh, Sonio, I guess is how you pronounce this one. Yeah, I've uh, had a couple of Andrea Bocelli CDs. I kind of outgrew them. Oh no, I, oh, no, I still have one of them, I think. His best of. So, yeah. Uh, Celine Dion appears on here and a couple of other artists. So, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the opera stuff. So... We'll see. And then the final CD is here. Oh, Alabama. In Pictures is the name of the album. Yeah, they're a, they're a country band. that I inherited a couple of uh, cassettes from uh, Sue's cassette hall that I uh, brought home. Uh, oh, it's been a couple of years ago, I guess, now. Uh, yeah, not, not bad country artists. They, they had a fondness for displaying the Confederate flag in their album covers, which is which I'm not totally crazy about, but uh, anyway, we'll see how that is. So anyway, yes, I still have yet to unearth the Schindler's List soundtrack and the Moby Play CD. So uh, I guess that's it for this month's bargain bag for March of 2023. That'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends and give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms down in the comments section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and browse my past videos. And be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob. 